in this video i am going to be showing you the accessories that i make use of to create amazing content on my sony zv e10 i'm going to show you my lenses my extra light that used to create amazing content both for talking head videos like this and for my vlogs if you're a beginner this is the perfect video for you because if you're interested in leveling up your content from using your phone to record to going to a camera this video is the one you should watch and share to your friends because in this video i'm going to be comparing filming content with my iphone and my camera for someone that transitioned from an iphone to a camera this video is going to show you if actually investing in a camera is worth it or is not worth it so if you're interested in seeing all of that in this video then definitely want to keep on watching hello hi how you doing hope you're having an amazing time today my name is goodness if you're seeing me for the very first time and do not make it your last because on this channel i create beauty content lifestyle content and content question tips just like in this video do well to subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video and do not forget to share with your friends your loved ones and even your enemies so prior to this video not to give like a backstory i just purchased my sony zv e10 if you want to see the unboxing click this video up here i'll leave it below in the description and also in the comment section so do well to go check it out in that video i basically showed you where i unboxed my sony zv e10 and this is my baby okay this is my actual actual darling she has a name a personal name that i gave her i am not tell you guys because you see my name so just for emphasis sake i'm using my iphone 11's back camera to record this video and this is the quality that we are getting with my iphone 11 back camera for my lighting setup i'll leave a video up here so that you go see my setup nothing is going to change while i'm doing the swapping and the exchanging okay so we'll see actually which one gives much more crisp quality which one gives the field depth bokeh effects blurry background that we all love to have i'm using my iphone 11 back camera to film right now i'm filming in 1080p 30 frames per second because of one thing we all know space but can film in 4k if you want but we all know that with 4k you are going to have to decide between having more quality and having more storage okay and I, please is my phone okay it's not my filming phone it's my actual only one phone so please i need my storage i'm filming in 30 fps because i do not want that slow-mo effect if you're trying to film like a slow-mo then you can go ahead and film in 60 but i keep it between like 30 we don't have 25 for iphone so it's just basically 30 i film with so that's what we're filming with right now so this is my camera yes this is so amazing she is the star of the show this is my sony zv e10 and this is how it came in right from the box this is how she is looking like and she is so pretty she's so amazing everything and everything is working with this young lady she is the best thing that's happened to me in a while i know it feels like i'm saying a lot but honestly when you get your own camera you understand the feeling i'm talking about so this is how it comes in and this is the kit lens that comes with the camera. I didn't buy anything extra, trust me. This is the kit lens that came with it. So this is where you input your microphone. It's, uh, let me open it up. This is, a, this is where you open to actually input your mic. But with this mic thing, it's actually quite very tricky. But don't worry, we'll handle that in another video, okay? So this is the part for the microphone, this top part here and down here is another port where you can open so in here you have your hdmi your usb-c and the one for your earplugs okay so that's what we have in here and underneath here is where you input your battery and your sd card this part this blue thing here is where you need to toggle on to take out your battery and just pop out and pop in your sd card okay so that's what we have in here so these are the two things that goes in here just load this guy in yeah and then put in your battery perfect so the only thing that is different right now is i have a screen protector kind of thingy yeah i don't know if you can see the nylon effect going on somewhere around here so i have that because i don't want to have any scratches on my screen so with that being said let's actually set up our camera so now that i've shown you the camera which is the actual main character of this entire video i'm going to show you the accessories that i go alongside with the camera to make my creation process a lot more easier a lot more smoother and a lot more fancy i must confess so putting this guy here because this is the actual bag 
everything came in so i'm just going to be taking everything one by one from this bag so that we can just quickly have the video rolling so the first thing i want to show is the 50 led with three colored diffusers yeah so this is how it looks like and let me just open it up for everyone to see so this is the light it's like all these influencer lights that you can just attach to your phone but it has this screw and this is the light so it has three diffusers this is the blue this is the yellow so this is not for like you want this cool tone and this is for the warm tone so all you have to do is just take out this guy like this and then replace it just so and you're good to go okay so that's how those guys work it comes with a horseshoe applicator so you can just easily attach it to anything you have working with your setup and it has a usb port so this is what you can use to power it this is a normal usb cord so attach it here like this and then plug this guy onto your your power bank your laptop your anything you have working for you okay so that's that about that so next thing i want to show you is my mini tabletop tripod or otherwise known as a pistol grip so this is how it looks like this is what for now that i'll be using to vlog because i haven't gotten the actual sony so but for now this has been working for me this is the normal regular schmegula tabletop tripod that we have here yes so this is what i got it's quite affordable because and that affordable counts me in so this is what we are going to be using to test short what i'm using on my phone is almost the same height as this so it makes a lot of sense so next in here i have my commander deluxe starter kit this is also a small tabletop mini tripod yeah this is just very easy just attach your camera to this guy here and open the legs wide and then you are good to go i haven't tried this guy before but we'll try everything out today okay in here we have the screen protectors yes this is what i used to cover my screen that i showed you earlier so we have three of these guys in here and we have q-tips for cleaning and we also have my memory card wallet so in here you can store up to six memory card just let your memory card here and you are good to go so this is going to be very very handy if you are vlogging and you're out of storage so just pop one pop pop the other one like like means okay so that is all that we have inside here so i've already attached this one already to my camera so we're not going to be showing that in this video okay, so also i got this this is to help prevent light glares you know sometimes when you wear glass photos are wear glasses the times where you just have this line or this trick of light ray just popping into your lens yeah so this is to prevent all of that from happening when you are filming with your camera so all you gotta do just put it here and then screw it together and then this is how it's gonna look like so it's like basically shielding your lens from all those light glares that might happen when you're filming outside so here is where i have my 4pc hd macro close-up lens set and this is how it comes in i love the fact that it comes in an actual casing because people can be very clumsy at times so this is how it comes in. we're going to be using this guy in this video to test out every of the lenses that we got and to see if they actually do what they are meant to do so these two guys here are for cleaning so we don't need to clean so we're not going to use them in this video but they're very very important because this guy let me just bring it up for you this is supposed to help you get into areas where your hand cannot reach you just pump out the dust and all of that stuff in here i have my digital filter kit and this is supposed to act like sun shades for my glass for my lenses so i'm going to use this as well in this video so keeping this aside here i have my ultimax travel charger so this is what i use to charge this is the other accessory that came with it the actual charger is here okay this is the actual charger this is how it looks like and it's very easy just putting your battery in here and you put it onto a socket and you are good to go now that i've done all of that let me just quickly set up my camera onto this mini tripod 
so we are all set up we are all good to go so this is how it's going to look like if i'm using this guy to vlog and to film and to record on the go so let's look that it has this adjustable thing here where i could just press it and adjust the height of what i want to record and what i want to film so if i press it it can go up and it can come be name hold it can, can go up and it can come down so it's not so sturdy i must confess but it gets the work done but you have to be holding this thing with your two hands because you don't want stories that touch the heart okay okay love so turning on my camera in five four three two one so this is the camera this is the quality of the camera on my sony zv e10 and this is the quality of my camera on my iphone 11. so we are comparing using the same lighting setup just that i'm not centralized but i'm basically sitting in the same place i'm using the actual settings that i have here if you want to see the settings that i have going on on my camera let me know below in the comment section but this is what we have here and i'm so excited i can't wait to see which one does better and I can't focus because I don't know just look out. So let me know if you prefer. But from what I can see, it's like my camera has more contrast. Yeah, because I'm seeing it from the flip out screen. I feel like it has more contrast than I see. I don't know. So you'll tell me in the comment section which one do you prefer? Which one do you feel like gives much more effect on the blurriness of the background? Is it the iPhone camera or the Sony ZV E10? Honestly. Cameras can be overwhelming, but when it comes to quality, sometimes they do the job. So let me know what it looks like. But from right now, I'm going to film it with my Sony Z8. Okay, so let's try the accessories right now. Okay, so this is what the audio of the Invit microphone of the Sony Z8 Invit microphone sounds like. It is so amazing. Honestly, if you are in a very quiet area, this microphone should work for you. It came with accessories. So this accessory is supposed to help you get rid of wind and any kind of background noise that comes with it. So it just makes your audio very crisp and clean. This accessory comes with a hot shoe. So it's very easy for you to just attach it to the top of the camera and you are good to go. This is what the audio of my microphone sounds like for my Sony zv 10 But so far so good. I have been using my OG never failing boya lavalia microphone okay so my microphone it has the ability to switch from smartphone to camera so this way i'm able to utilize just this one microphone and create content and get my phone and my camera so with that feature in hand that's what i have been using to film okay so i don't have another external huge microphone going on inside my podcast microphone but this is what i basically use when i'm just doing my normal talking head video so is that i use that so when i'm vlogging i use the mbut microphone because it does an amazing job when i'm in my actual studio when i'm filming i use my boya lavalier mic so i'm just going to plug this in to where it's meant to be plugged in by the side where i showed you earlier okay so right now using my boya lavalier microphone this is what we are sounding like let me know in the comment section if there's any difference between the lavalia and the mb microphone honestly i think it's gonna be a difference but it's not be that much okay starting off with this actual lens that we got this actual led light that we got so this is how it comes in like i showed you just attaching it here easy and putting it where my microphone is supposed to be so this guy is out and this is in so i'm going to just plug this in into my laptop and turn it on so this is the lowest second and this is the brightest so honestly i can make it work okay it's actually blinding because why can't i see any longer so let me just attach this warm filter on it okay okay i'm actually seeing how i'm looking so it's okay I think I can see a little better now. Yes, yeah, so this is for the warm tone. Then attach the cool tone. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. So this is the cool tone. Let me know which one you prefer. Whether the warm tone or the cool tone. So this is another extra accessory. So honestly, when I'm out and maybe there's not enough lighting, I just gotta play with my ISO and carry this guy, attach it to my power bank, hold it in my hand, and it will do the work just well okay so with my lighting setup i really don't need this guy right now because the girl cannot even see okay so for my lighting setup this is what i have going on here 
I'm making use of three LED light panels to record and uh, this is what we have going on here this is my sony zve one i as you can see is using the tripod stand i showed you guys oh hello so this is what we have going on right here when it comes to lighting i just feel like i show you guys so that you guys are not all that confused and all that stuff yeah. so next we are going to try out the lenses so these are the pro hd 4pc hd macro close-up lenses oh i dared say that fast okay so actually my camera came with a lens cloth so this is just very needed because we all know how fingerprints can get onto lenses so this is the commando optics macro close-up plus 10 40.5 mm let us put it onto my camera and let us see how it's going to look like okay i don't know what this is supposed to look like but why am i looking pixelated i don't think this lens is for people that are filming lifestyle content i didn't say put it properly because now i'm getting confused so i don't think this is for people that are doing lifestyle content because this is giving microscopic okay i think i get the point now it's actually microscope like it's giving my glasses kind of lens like it's it's so close up like what it's what's what's all this like nah that is not for me okay so that's it for the plus 10 never gonna use it <laughs> so this is the second guy we are using and hopefully it will be all microscopic in nature this is the commander optics macro close-up plus four 40 0.5 mm so that one was plus 10 this is plus 4 hopefully i will not be seeing my soul with this lens because that one i could see my skin cells so just applying this guy let's just see how it looks okay from what i can see from my flip out screen it's giving me much more blurriness at the back because I don't know. I didn't move it. I didn't move closer. Like this is actually how I've been, and I can see that the background is backgrounding. <laughs> the background is is actually backgrounding. And let me try and do autofocus with this. If yeah, it still works, and it works fast. Like it's interesting. Like the background is actually blurrier than before. You guys see. This is the same thing, same focal length, same everything. I didn't change nothing. Um, like with this, I can still see my mirror, I can still see the plan. But when I apply this, everything is blurrier. This is my guy. This is going to be my guy. This is going to be my actual guy because it's giving what it's meant to give. Don't talk to me. I'm a content creator. Per. Mm. <laughs> oh my god now i know when they say it's lens that matters it's lens that matters ah this background is giving it's giving sha it's really giving <sighs> y'all cannot see what's going on in my background <laughs> no i try a lot like nah 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 this is the lens for me this is my go-to lens because just see see the difference nah okay so this is the commando optics macro close-up plus four this guy is my best friend nah there's no nah this is the guy for me this is what i'm going to be using to film now because what nah nah <laughs> i cannot behave again like i don't even care not even shouldn't get that guys but i gotta show you guys what it's all about so this is another one hopefully you know for my hand so this is this is the same but this is plus two, so same plus ten, plus four, plus two. I don't think plus two actually make much difference because I mean it's plus two. Two is my number, but let's just see, sure. Okay, okay. So I I can see from what I can detect, the higher the plus is, the more. The more zooming it is, I don't know if that makes sense, but that does play my language. So if you're going from one, one is going to be like normal camera. So plus two, plus four, plus ten. That way that plus ten was 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 zooming in. And I think with the more zoomed in it is, the more blurry at the background. Because even from 
my actual lens yeah when i'm looking at you right now it's more closer like it's like an actual mirror i can see myself basically but i take it out like it's still kind of far so i can't really see myself and the autofocus is autofocusing because this is giving because what is all this i'm happy you know i'm happy like the girl has found a new toy to play with like so this is a plus two and uh, i can see that i mean the background is is blurry it's like kind of blurry but as compared to the plus four honestly y'all go back and check the actual difference because now my eye is in a lot of things that i cannot even tell about it's not so bad i can make it work and i look i look pretty is it just my eye but i look pretty like hey <laughs> so this is the plus two just take it out carefully this is i'm teaching these guys and i read somewhere that they're not actual lenses they are in instead they are converters if you think they are converters or lenses honestly i'm not a pro in that area but as long as give me blurry background and give me multiple focus that i want i'm good like it's not like mine cannot give me to focus my kit lens but i mean matter of course it's still kind of amazing yeah like one second boom one second boom it's so awesome let me just try with something that's very very intricate what's intricate so let me just try with my lip gloss yeah so it's still focusing and it's amazing it's even getting the actual letters like nah like no this is actually a very good camera i must confess and it's affordable as compared to the other one so last year we have we have plus one okay then this is plus one so it shows that we have plus one plus two plus four and plus ten my best t is plus four like you can't take that one for me nah so just apply the plus one okay so this is a plus one honestly it's it's okay it's all right it's all right i'm never gonna lie it's okay it's all right but that four that four did it for me i'm never going to lie so this is all that we have when it comes to this lenses and ah, i'm very happy i got this on camera because it's to show now that like i have actual proof that this thing is actually doing its work i mean i like the fact that it's a portable compact if you're looking for the most portable compact yet powerful camera this is the camera for you and if you're a beginner like me yeah i believe i'm a beginner as well because even though i'm here for like three years now i'm still a beginner i'm just one that likes complicated things so with camera i like just pop it on pop it off like i don't want all this connect this connect that it's overwhelming so if you're a beginner like that and you still want to take baby steps but create amazing pro looking content so this is camera you should get i'm going to leave a link to what i used to get my order I got from amazon but it was a package deal so all these things came in together with the camera okay i didn't need to start going here going there and that was amazing for me because me i don't like stress i don't know if you can tell i don't like stress the fact that i got everything in just one order one shipping good to go so now that we're done with our lenses i'm still so happy <laughs> i'm still so happy so now let's go to our filters so right now we are going to be looking at the pro hd series 3 pc digital filter so this is still from commander optics yeah same as the other lenses they are all in 40.5 mm so this is how it comes in like the lenses so still very cute still very handy okay so this commander optics cpl filter still for 40.5 mm and in order i do avoid touching the actual lens same way you want to touch your glasses lens here yeah. so from what i can see this guy is darker it's like sun shades but let me just pop it on okay same settings i didn't adjust my aperture nothing like that and i can see that it's a bit darker yeah, so I think this, this is going to be fantastic if I'm vlogging and it's sunny, like someone wants to blind my eye and I can't even see my content. This is the lens that I'm going to pop on because that way I can keep all my settings put together. And in the times when you're vlogging outside and there's a cloud that goes over the sun and it comes back here. Yeah, so stop so changing your settings up and down. Just leave your settings like that and get this lens as a filter and pop and put it in there and you can get everything you want to get.
Okay, so this is without. And this is with. Are you guys from this end? Uh, is it a bit darker? But that is how this one looks like. Okay, so this one's slowly purple. I don't know if you can already see from here, but it's slowly purple. Um, <laughs> if you want to get some purple looking content, yeah, instead of adjusting it after production, this should do the trick for you. FLD filter. Interesting. Yeah, you guys. Favorite color, here we go. We are purple in nature, saying hello, colors. We are purple in nature. Everything is giving. <laughs> this guy is purple. Like, if all purple content, this is the filter for you. Commander Optics have outdone themselves. So that, you don't have any excuse. This is the ultra violet filter, okay? This is. This is good for whatever reason you want to have purple content for, okay? I'm never going to lie, but if we need a purple content, this is what it should pop on. So go grab your commander updates and this should do it. So the last and definitely not the least is the, I think it's just the clear one because it looks clear. Yeah. I don't know if it's any difference, but let's just see. So this is how it looks like. I can't visually see any difference. Let me come up close. Nah, nothing. You just think that are normal regular, regular glasses that I wear to avoid anything that I want to avoid. Yeah. I think it's like protection for your actual lips. I'm not quite sure. I'll do my assignment when I'm done with this video. But that is it with the Commander Optics Pro HD Series 3PC Digital Filter Kit. Okay, so when it comes to filming content, most especially if you are into beauty or tech reviews and all of that stuff. Product showcasing is one thing that you need to have when it comes to filming. Whether you are filming with your phone or with any of your cameras. I want to say product showcasing. I mean the ability to do this and for it to capture the product and leave the person in the background. Gloria, okay. So I'm going to try that on my camera and on my iPhone. So this is my iPhone here and this is my camera here. Hello. Okay, so I'm going to try and use the same product, same brand. So three, two, one. So this is how it shows for the Sony ZV-E1. This is how fast you have to focus this bag. Yeah. And it's out. And it's back out for the iPhone. And it's back. And it's back. And so if you're doing a makeup product, there's sometimes where we have our little shades and everything underneath the brand and everything. So I want to see if it can capture. I guess in the AD something underneath. Yeah. I want to see if it capture this as fast as it would the actual body. I like the fact that I do not need to stretch to show it because like yeah stretching does it but I like the fact that it's just normal like it can sense when okay she's showing me something yeah let me focus on that thing instead of my face yeah and this is it for the iPhone this is how quick it focuses yeah I feel like the iPhone does a decent job I don't know but let's at the same time three two one Three, two, one. I can do this all day if you let me. Okay, my loves. Okay, my beautiful people. So these are the things that I got alongside with my camera. And these are the extra things like I have shown you that will help to level up my content in this year and beyond. So this is so amazing. This has been an amazing video, as you can tell. I cannot keep my teeth inside my mouth because... Whoo! That, 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 that plus four. Mmm. I'm gonna make some content together. Like, I found job to do, honestly. So, that is it for this video. Do check out Commander Optics for all of your digital camera accessories and be sure that you will get the quality that you are looking for. Do not forget to check my description for the link to this camera and the one that got me all my accessories that I showed you in this actual video. If you like this video and learn something new or even anything new, 
you like my face my energy my vibe do hit like button and share it to your friends your families and even your enemies because yeah they deserve love at the same time so that's it for this video guys in the next video i'll be showing you my actual video camera settings if you want to know about our video when it comes out do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you'll be among the first people to see that video when it comes out next time guys stay fabulous and stay blessed i love you bye